Hi, my name is Josh Taylor. I'm a Spinning International Master Instructor. We're here at the World Headquarters of Spinning in Venice, California to discuss how to release tension on a spinner bike. As you know, the spinner bikes are equipped with a resistance knob that either adds or subtracts resistance. There are a multitude of reasons why you would take tension or resistance off the bike, and I'll show you now and how. When using resistance on a spinner bike, there's a couple things you can do that are going to make it more efficient for you. Remember, resistance is your friend. Let's just call it that. If you take off too much resistance, you're just going to allow that flywheel to have all the work for you. And when you're on the bike, you always want to have a small amount of resistance on there. So we recommend that you never go to absolutely no resistance. So even after a hard interval or a hard work effort, back it off enough where you feel relaxed, but there's still a little bit of back pressure in the pedals, and you can feel that. Over time, as you become more and more fit and adapt to the movement, you won't have to back it off quite as much. And there will be times where you're going to push yourself just absolutely to the limit. And you might find yourself wanting to back it completely off, but just catch yourself and know that that little bit of resistance is going to help keep it safe, efficient, and basically fun overall.